Thank you for tuning in to another episode of In Range. I'm coming to you today with a Makarov. It's a 380 Makarov, but a Makarov nonetheless. And what I'm here to talk to you about, though, is not the pistol. Everyone knows a Makarov is a good gun, 380, 9mm Makarov, doesn't really matter that much. What I am here to talk to you about is the EFA-2 Spetsnaz Special Operations Holster. This holster allows you to condition three this gun, that means have a loaded magazine, empty chamber, safety on, and from that, draw and immediately fire it as though it was a single action gun with a chamber loaded and ready. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. All right, so there's no magazine inserted. This is an empty gun, but I'm going to demonstrate how this holster works to you. I'm going to drop the slide and decock the gun. Now, in theory, this is how you could carry the gun, take it off safe, fire it. Or you could even keep it off safe and just rely on the DA trigger pull for safety. However, for this special Spetsnaz Super Duper holster, we're going to put it on safe. And we're going to consider this condition three, magazine inserted fully loaded, nothing in the chamber. Then we insert it into this holster. Got to line it up. And once it goes in there, you can actually latch this. And here we sit, just like this. Now, if we push all the way through, you'll see the hammer's cocked and the safety's off the through the nature of pushing through the holster. Now that you've seen how it works, let's demonstrate it here on the range. So I'm going to condition three of the gun. Drop the slide on an empty chamber. Dry fire. Safety on. Magazine inserted. Face our target. We're going to put this into the EFA 2 Spetsnaz holster. And we're going to set our timer and we're going to push through and fire as though the gun was loaded and ready to go. I'm going to start every time with my hand on the gun for consistency. One point three one seconds. Let's go ahead and put the gun on safe. That decocks the hammer. Leave it on safe. Reholster and see what our time's like there. Now, to be a little unfair to ourselves, I'm not going to use this safety strap because that would slow me down dramatically. One point three four. All right, let's decock the gun, take it off safe, put it in the holster. Now let's see what we get. We're relying on the DA trigger pull for our safety mechanism, no external safety. One point three two. These times are all sort of the same. Let's go ahead and condition three the gun again. Safety on, loaded magazine inserted, and we're going to use the Spetsnaz style. Maybe we can get faster. A little faster, 1.19. Since we have a round in the chamber, let's decock it. Take it off safe, put it back in the holster and see if we can match that time. One point one one faster than Spetsnaz style. Let's give it one more try. Condition three. Safety on. Magazine inserted. All right. This is speed draw Spetsnaz style. Of course, now we can use the strap, which is an advantage. One point oh eight, but I missed because I went a little too fast. Let's give it one more try. Decock the gun, on safe, condition three, taking the round that popped out, putting it in the magazine. We are now again condition three. That's not style. One point two three. Got one more round. Let's just do the DA again. Decock the gun. Off safe, back in the holster. We are not going to use the retention strap, which of course is a disadvantage of this style with this holster. 1.16, faster even with a DA trigger pull. So the question we can ask is, why did they design this? And the answer that I can give you is, I have no idea. The reality is, if you run this gun in DA with the safety off out of a normal holster, 
you're as fast, if not faster, than you are doing Spetsnaz style push through with this crazy Rube Goldberg design. Is this unsafe? I'm not sure. There's something about it that doesn't feel right, and I'll be honest with you, I would not advise you to get one of these or do this at home. Every time I push through like that, it made me feel a little serpa y and I didn't care for that. I did keep my finger off the trigger, of course, but I think there is the risk of an accidental or negligent discharge with this holster if you're not knowing what you're doing and not very careful. Of course, there's a risk with that with any draw if you're not doing training properly, but this seems to enhance that risk. At least it makes me feel that way. Have I seen an ND or AD with this? No. Did I have one today? No. Does it seem like it could inspire it? Yes. And since it isn't faster and we just showed it on the clock, why? I don't know. Maybe the Soviet Good Idea Fairy decided to visit the Soviets at some point in time and they wanted to make the EFA-2 because the, resist, the ability to resist the Good Idea Fairy, as we know in all militaries, is nearly impossible. Guys, if you like this kind of content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It's only you, the viewer, that fund this channel. There's no advertising money, no sponsors, only you. We're proactively demonetized. We're not demonetized by YouTube. I demonetize the channel because it's only you, the viewer, that keeps in range alive. If you already are supporting us, thank you. You're what enabled me to do this video today and show you this at risk of leg, quite literally, perhaps. Um, if you're not, I understand. If you can't, we totally understand. Just subscribe to one of our channels. You can find them at all in range.tv and share with your friends. Thank you very much.